Hello, today I'm going to be walking you through how to make a desktop on Canva. You can choose from so many different re ways to do this on Canva. I am going to search desktop organization. I'm actually going to put in desktop organizer because that is usually what works for me. And up pops all these beautiful organization tips, all these wonderful templates. They're so beautiful, so vibrant, so diverse in everything they offer. You can choose from a color. So if you choose a specific color, there might be some, there might be none. The purple didn't have any. Black had many. So you can choose any of these. You can also go on the gradient scale and choose from some random color if you want. I, I really like this. I am personally not looking for a color because I've done, done this already. So this is just for fun. I chose the free section as well. And I chose all categories just because I didn't know if I had to do a certain category. So I'm going to just choose one of these beautiful templates right now. I'm going to go right up to the top because that's usually where I find the easiest one. I have search overload. There are just so many. And so I picked this blue one, which is actually what I have currently on my desktop right now. I do love these blue tones. You can keep the blue tones if you want. You can change them. I'll show you how to change them. Now, the one thing that I don't love is these stock photos. I personally like to change them up. I like them to be a little different. So I am going to do just that. So you are going to want to go on the side and go to uploads. As you can see on the sidebar is what I've already uploaded. The things I've already used Canva for. I love Canva, guys. You can also upload your own media if you don't have what you're looking for right there. Just go into the device, choose the one you want, and you can click and it'll download and you can just put it right in. Um, just replace what it has. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I am not a tech genius. I don't know when it doesn't work. But there you go. I added, took away the white space and then I realized I really liked the white space. So we kept it. Um, I'm going to go through and find the different other photos, add the, add the sweet little reminders as well, because I want my desktop to be a very positive space. And then I'm going to just work with the spacing, spacing issue. Yes. It might be a little uncentered and I'm so sorry for all of those people who are just like, no, you've ruined it. But I, I like it a little, I like it a little crazy. And then I love the words. I am going to change some of these up though. I'm going to change the productivity to one of my favorite quotes, which is a Disney quote. It is for one so small, you seem so strong. And as you can see, all of these are tilted. So it's actually going to come out in almost a circle, which I love. And then I'm going to just readjust that, put that back in the center. And then there you go. Now I can stop here, but I don't love the colors because the colors seem a little crazy. So I'm going to actually fix the colors by clicking on the main page. And as you can see on the side, the photo colors actually come out. So they take the main photo colors and they add that to your palette as well. So I put the main photo color and then I just added some colors. I tried to go with a yellow theme because I really do like yellow. I know the blue is so calming and sometimes I wish I could just stay calm when I'm on my computer, but there we go. I also took a little bit of the green. Um, I could change the font to the theme colors as well. I'm keeping the blue. I'm changing up the font again. I don't really love that color. Um, that's a little too light. Let's try one more time. And I think we found a winner. Um, and you can just continue to do this with other colors as well. Just continue to mess around, find what you like. I didn't love this. I sort of wanted to find if I could find one of those droplet ideas and find the exact color, but I found the gradient source instead, had some fun with that, and just saw all the different colors. It was getting a little too crazy, a little too many colors then, and I, and I do want my, my laptop to be beautiful and just make sense and be a little cohesive, so I'm going to change the font for one more, and then there you have it, guys. I am personally fine with this. Um, it took exactly four minutes to make from start to finish, from search to end, and I am good. And then you just save that, you download it, and you put it as your desktop, and that is all.